Yo, what's good guys, Austin here, and I will never be surprised at people commenting on things that have absolutely nothing to do with the video. So this bag was featured in one of my last videos for four or five seconds, but I got a ton of people asking me what this bag was. So today, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick overview of the bag, show you guys all the tech that I carry in it on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as show you guys who this bag is actually for. Cause it's definitely not for everyone, but with all that said, let's just hop right into it. So this is called the City Compact Backpack from Incase, and they make a ton of accessories for laptops and just tech in general. But what I like about this bag in particular is that it's extremely minimalist in the sense that the design is really cool and really minimal, and it's also very small and slim, only allowing you to really take the essentials with you. So on the front, you can see that the entire thing is wrapped in this really nice heather gray material, and I'm not sure if it's officially waterproof, but I've had this in the rain and I haven't had any issues with all of the tech that I carry inside of it. On the back, there's some thick but soft padding to protect what's inside your bag as well as these really nice thick shoulder straps. So one of the main reasons backpacks break are because of these straps and you can see here that they're connected right here and they're really nice and thick and this material is really premium so it's not going to be going anywhere it's not going to be breaking on you anytime soon. And the same thing goes for the top handle. This is another point of failure for a lot of backpacks. Usually it's a really weak strap so if you load it down with a lot of stuff it'll break but as you can see here it's made of this really thick material and it's not going to break on you anytime soon. Overall, the design is really slick and it has this nice premium feel to the entire thing. And the only thing that I could really find as a downside was the fact that since you're buying a backpack that's really minimal and really slim, you're gonna be missing one thing, which is a place to put your water bottle. So now we've gone over the design, I can show you guys what's in the actual bag itself. So it has three compartments and I'll go ahead and open up the main one, but you'll see that there is a decent amount of space to put your stuff. So first off, it has this protective sleeve for your laptop and this was designed for a 15 inch MacBook Pro, but as you can see here, I'm using the 2016 13 inch MacBook Pro. So I'll admit I was a little bit worried when I ordered this because it's designed for a 15 inch, but having a 13 inch notebook in there, it works just fine. It doesn't move around anything and it's really secure. And I really like this because inside here, you'll notice that it has a nice faux fur lining in the inside. So it's not gonna get scratched. So you don't even need a laptop sleeve when you're putting in your bag. You can just go ahead and stick your laptop right in here and it's not gonna get any damage whatsoever. Now the only thing left in here are a couple books just to show you guys somewhat of the capacity. I could fit a few more books in here, but this is really not meant for like a college student who actually carries around his textbooks with him. If you have like three thick textbooks, they're not really gonna fit in here, but if you have two, that'll be fine. But if you just have, you know, a few notebooks that you write in, this is gonna be perfect for you. So for me, I just have this folder with important documents in it. I have this notebook, which I actually did a video on. This is called the Rocket Book Wave Notebook. And if you guys wanna check it out, I'll have a link to the video in the description. But this is basically where I just jot down notes and I have like video ideas and stuff like that. And then I have another notebook and this is just for class the one class that I'm taking and it's just, you know, a regular notebook. And that's pretty much all that I carry with me in terms of books. Now, the only thing left in here is a thing, again, that's been taking up all of my time and that is this Nintendo Switch. So the main thing I love about the Nintendo Switch is that I can take it on the go and that's mostly how I play it. So the case that I'm using here is the official Nintendo case and it's not a hard case, but I'm okay with that because I'm never gonna be taking this around with me with just this. I'm always gonna be throwing it into a bag. So this has just enough protection that it's slim enough unlike other cases so that I can actually throw it into a bag that's slim like this. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild played for 75 hours or more. I'm only a little bit ashamed of that. And then the last thing in this compartment, which is kind of hard to see, they have two big mesh pouches that you can put whatever in. So for me, that's where I'm storing my MacBook charger as well as the USB-C cable that comes with it. And I really like this setup because my MacBook uses USB-C, my Nintendo Switch uses USB-C, and whatever phone I get next, either the Galaxy S8 or the iPhone 8, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Cause that would make too much sense for Apple to do. Whatever phone I get next, it's probably gonna be using USB-C. So I'm really only going to need one charger and probably a battery bank when I'm on the go, like in the car or something. Just one charger that's gonna work with everything. So that's really great. Then moving on to the next compartment, we have a small little pouch right here that I pretty much use to put all of the small stuff that I have. So if I need to put my keys, my phone, charger, anything that's small and loose can go in here. So right now, I just have my, my charger for my S7 Edge. And that's pretty much it. Usually I'll have headphones in there. But another great thing about this is that it also has the same 
faux fur lining as the inside so if you need to put anything that needs any type of protection it's not going to get scratched it's not going to get scuffed and it has a decent amount of padding on the outside so you know your stuff's protected and now to the last part which is almost hidden because it's a very minimalist look on the front there's actually a zipper right here that goes all the way over it and it gives you access to even more stuff so the first thing here is this is actually designated as a place to put your tablet so if you have an ipad or an android tablet you can go ahead and slip it in there and it'll be just fine but for me i just use it to put some spare cables so right here i just have a spare usb-c to usb-c cable um, as well as this macbook dongle this is a very simple adapter right here. It just goes to USB-C and it has three USB 3.0 ports as well as a micro SD card slot and a full SD card slot. Now taking an even closer look here, you'll see we have some dividers so that you can put even smaller stuff in here uh, organized. So the first thing you notice here is that I have a power bank. This is a really small power bank, but I really like it. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. This is the Anchor Power Core 10,000. And what I like about it is the fact that it has Quick Charge 3.0. It's pretty much the size of a credit card, just a little bit thicker. So really small to carry around. I'll probably end up getting a bigger USB-C one, but for now, this is working out really well. Now, of course, I've got some stuff to write with I always carry around marker pen and a pencil and then this I actually forgot was in here uh, so if you don't know what this is this is actually a Raspberry Pi and I'm using it for class coding on it but this is a small computer it costs around 30 bucks and lets you do a lot of interesting things with it so just go check it out but I carry around with this me because apparently I'm a nerd I think that's pretty much it. The rest of this space you can use for more stuff. So even though it's a slim backpack, it's definitely not that limited on space. So if you guys want to check this out, this is the NK City Compact Backpack. Of course, like everything I listed in this video, I have a link in the description. I'm sure there's probably something else that you guys will comment that I'll make another video about. But this is the backpack. I think it's a really great value for the price and it's been working out really well. So who is this for? I would say it's for people who are pretty minimal and they don't carry around like all of their tech with them. So you saw everything that I carry with me. It works really nice. And if you're someone that commutes to work or to class or something, this isn't a very thick backpack. So you're not gonna be taking up all the space on the train. So if you guys want to check out more bigger backpacks, InCase actually makes bigger tech backpacks that you can use to fit all of your stuff in. And I don't have any of them, but I'll link you over to your average consumers channel. Uh, he does a lot of great videos on a lot of travel gear and he actually covers a lot of the bigger backpacks that they have but I'm really liking their stuff it's a really nice design backpack and yeah that's what I'm using for all of those people that asked me